everyone! Welcome to a drawing lesson from Slime Sam! Today, Sue and I are going to tell you about easy watercolor techniques. Hello! Yes, there are a lot of fun ways to use watercolors, and today, I'm going to show you eight of my favorite techniques. What's good about them? They are perfect for beginners or any skill level. You can try one or two of these ideas or make your own page of all eight techniques. I've used a pencil and a ruler to measure out eight rectangles on my watercolor paper. Then I labeled each box with each technique to know where's which. It's a good idea to let each box dry completely before moving on to a new technique. You can even use a hair dryer for that. Are you excited? I know I am. Guys, which kinds of paints do you like using? Write in the comments below. The first technique is watercolor and salt. Here's some salt for you. Thanks, I'm getting started. First, you need to cover the selected area with the colors of your choice. I'll take two colors, blue and azure. Like this. The more water you use when coloring, the more interesting the effect will be. So don't be shy with it. Then you need to sprinkle the drawing quickly with salt. This should be enough. And leave it to dry. Right, let's see. We need to flake away the salt carefully like this. Let's dust off the excess. See how unusual it looks? And very simple. Oh, this is my favorite technique. Second technique. Let's fill the next box with color. And we'll use a lot of water again. Here's your next tool! Yes, Sammy. Thanks. We'll take a tissue and crumple it well. Now we need to place it on our colored box and press it lightly with our hands. Now let's dry the paint a little bit. But don't leave it for too long or the tissue will stick. I think it's done. Carefully now. There! Wow! It's just a tissue but it leaves such beautiful patterns. For the third technique, we're using rubbing alcohol. I have it here. We need to cover our box with watercolors. Let's take these bright colors. Oh, I love drawing with watercolors. Now it's time for some magic. We'll take a Q-tip and dip it in the alcohol. You need to drip alcohol on the watercolor and you'll get these amazing patterns. And a bit more. Done! Wow! It looks like a galaxy! Guys, if you think it looks like a galaxy too, give it a thumbs up! Moving along. For the fourth technique, I'm going to use a white crayon. First, I need to draw a pattern with the crayon. Uh, a white crayon on white paper? Yep, it isn't easy, but if you tilt the paper just a bit, you'll be able to see your drawing. Right, now the watercolors. We'll cover the wax drawing. See? It starts to peek through! Wax resists watercolors, and the paper remains white underneath. Technique is my favorite. Are you sure? Not the first one? Oh, I don't know. Everything is so beautiful. Could it get any prettier? You'll see. Guys, there are four more techniques left. Don't forget that it's better to allow each drawing to dry before moving on to the next one. The fifth technique is fun splatter. This technique is really fun, but a bit messy. So I'll cover the rest of the paper. Now I'll dip the brush into the paint really well. And tap the brush against my fingers. Awesome! But one color is obviously not enough. We'll also take this one. And this one. Then remove the protective paper. Wow! Yep! The sixth technique is simply mesmerizing. Will you need anything special for it? Hmm, no, Sammy. Just a brush, some water, and watercolors. 
Let's start with the base color. I'll take yellow. So happy and sunny. And while it's still wet, let's take another color. Red! And carefully drip it a few times on the wet drawing. We need patience here, so go slowly. <gasps> oh, it's as if the fire flowers are blooming! Well, Sammy, perhaps this is your favorite technique? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Two more left. For the seventh technique, we'll need a bit of plastic wrap and some patience. It starts in the usual way, we'll color in the box. Let's take a few colors that match well. Like this. Now I'll place the wrap carefully over it. The wrap should be crumpled here. Don't try to smooth it out. Like this. And now we need to wait for about an hour. It's been about an hour, and we can remove the wrap from the drawing. Oh, Sue, it looks like stained glass! Yeah, it actually does! Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. The last technique is very interesting. We'll use the transparent nature of the watercolors. We'll start with the lightest shade and draw a few shapes, like this, all over the box. Before moving on to the next stage, we need to leave the drawing to dry. Now let's repeat the same shapes, but with a darker shade. There. Let's leave it to dry again. And the last one. Very bright. Look! We get a sort of dimensional effect. Done! Sue! Sue, I don't know! I like all of them! I can't choose! Then don't! You can draw with each technique one after another. Guys, which one do you like best? Write in the comments. Give these wonderful techniques a try and create watercolor masterpieces! And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more drawing lessons from Slime Sam. Uh, um. And his friend Sue. Bye-bye! <laughs>